Well, so we go through the not it side and we reframe it to the, okay, so if you don't want to commute an hour each way, what would you really love? So let me ask you, Glenn, what would you really love? I would love just the simple fact that I can commute the five minutes to get to my downstairs office. Beautiful. So I would love to work from home. Let's say that this is a person that currently, you know, has is doing that yucky commuting. I would love to work and, from home. As huh? you're saying, it Go makes ahead. me think and have the ability to or the audience to be able to travel and speak when I want to. To be able to lay out the dates I want to go out and speak. Amen. Okay. So, so I work to the hours of my liking. So that might be something else that you put on the love side. So so we we don't ignore the not it side. We have but we know that that coin can be flipped over, right? We know that there's right. another side to it. So, you know, sometimes it would be I don't know, what's another not it that people talk about working excessive hours, right? They yeah. work too many hours. So what we're working you for love? a boss they don't like. Yeah. Or they exactly. work for a boss they don't love, right? So okay. then on the love side is, you know, I work less than 40 hours a week. I vacation two months a year. I uh, love my boss and my I have a really, you know, competent team that I trust. When, mm -hmm. you, when you really start to decide, it's reverse engineering. And this is what I do in the book. And this is what I do with a lot of my coaching. A lot of my coaching is also accountability, of course, you know. Right, right, um, right I just right. moved a client that, you know, used to see me weekly, who went to monthly. Then we went to biweekly. I just moved her back to weekly because she just needs accountability. She's at the top of her organization. And, and so, you know, she needs somebody up there to remind her, oh, no. We're doing this. Stay on track. <laughs> yeah, this you know. is your day. Yeah. This is, your, yeah. It's like, I'm the boss today. So let's go. Um, anyway, but, but when you start going in the reverse engineering of it, so if you were to read your love side, and again, we're just talking about career, and you read it as, oh, you know, I, mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. my job. I get to work, I get to commute five minutes downstairs, and I got to stop by and get my favorite coffee in my kitchen on the way. I love that I earn more than, you know, six figures. I love that I work 35 hours a week. I ha I love that I have the most amazing, competent team, you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So then the science of this, there's a couple of scientific pieces of this. One is subconscious mind believes it's happening. So your self-esteem and your energy starts getting mm -hmm. more in alignment with that kind of life. And if I'm your coach... And I have that, let's call it your vision for your career, your health or your business, whatever. If, if I had that, I would say, okay, Glenn, so what's something you can do today in the direction of that? Okay. What, okay. Now, what's is that some, where... What's action? Go ahead. I was just going to say, because is that some of the action that might be required there is that where you start talking a little bit about the communication process the communication strategies necessary is that where that comes in at at that point you know, some of the actions maybe the communication skills or strategies maybe i mean here's the thing i i will almost always and i ran a lot of businesses so i when i would go into a business yes. in my past life it was usually a company that maybe did a million dollars a month type size, you know, not giant, whatever. Um, and I, I would go in and reverse engineer it. I'd see, okay, this is my goal. My goal is X amount of P and L. My goal is this type of staff. My goal is this, you know, percentage, blah, 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 blah. And then in the business world, I would say, okay, how am I going to do that? And I had experience mm. in it. In mm -hmm. the way that I coach now, I don't do how at all. In coaching with people in their life and in their business and in their health, I do what? Okay. So I started I, with you. I know I'm yeah. losing you. I'm going to tell you. Okay. I started with you when we were doing the, the love and not it list. I said, what yeah. would you love? What would you love? I didn't say right. how would you accomplish that? Because guess what would happen? Most people would say, well, I can't. If I could, I would have been doing it already. That's not how it works. You say, okay, so if you were to uh, if you were to, to work 40 hours or less a week, what's a thing you could do in the direction of that today? 
right? It's just a thing. Oh, well, I could reschedule my hours. I could talk to my boss about, you know, doing this. I could hire an assistant. I could, you always can come up with an idea of how to make that happen. What's just a thing. It's not the end all perfect thing, but how do I move the needle in that area today? How do I move the needle in that area today? Okay. And you'd be amazed as, as you start moving, your perception changes and you start seeing possibilities. Okay. And just as a shift, shift of perception, really, my question about communication is how do we apply communication? But that's not it. You're saying it's the what. It's so the I know what? what I want to have happen. What's the thing I can do to push that 